is Donna Burton Wilcock. I run a small educational software company, but my background is very much in teaching. Uh, my interest in software began because, as a teacher, I wasn't very satisfied with the sort of software and content that was available to me. I found it very dull. It was really just books online. Um, and it didn't do anything differently. It was rather reductive. It suggested that there were right answers to questions. It wasn't open-ended. It wasn't fun for me to use as a teacher. So when I had the opportunity, uh, we thought about providing tools for teachers. We wanted teachers to be able to make their own materials for use with digital technology that ensured that they were having fun because if teachers have fun, we think that the children will have fun learning. When we talk about immersive education, we mean um, education and digital content that engages learners, that motivates them, that makes them want to continue outside the classroom because they're enjoying their learning. They take control of it. They are the authors of the material that they then present to their teacher. The first platform that we developed, uh, we worked very much with teachers, with the education um, department of our local university and games developers. We took the technology behind games but focused it very much on an educational experience. So we took Shakespeare as our example. All children at the age of 14 in England have to learn Shakespeare and many children hate it and they don't want to do it. What we wanted to do was to make Shakespeare exciting and therefore we allowed them to direct their own Shakespeare plays. They had to interrogate the language, they had to justify the choices they made in staging it as a play. And we found that we had children coming back after school, children who'd been, we use the word skive, but they would come in just for their Shakespeare lessons and the parents were amazed. We have a, a website where you can see examples of children and teachers talking about using our software with children to teach Shakespeare. One of the reasons that we use game technology to develop our platforms for education is that children are already the experts with games. We don't want to hijack their experience of their leisure, leisure time, but we want to validate their use of the medium. So we use gaming techniques, but we don't use games that are exactly the same as they play. We, take, we work very much with game programmers and the artists who, make, who do the artwork for games because we want the children's experience of the educational software to be high quality and like the games they play at home. But rather than just playing games, we allow them to make games, 3D computer games, 3D um, avatars, and to control those but we're looking at the cognitive skills, what they learn by making a game, how they hypothesize, how they role play and therefore empathize with other people. We look at how they use the technology to demonstrate understanding of information that they found elsewhere. But we don't make games that you just win and that's it, it's over. They're open-ended, you can make as many games as you want. And sometimes the teachers make games too. I think that what our software allows children to do is work collaboratively with their teachers and with their peers to research, find information, but then represent it to demonstrate their understanding, to show what they have found out, what they find important, and how best to communicate that to a specific audience. And what we do is provide an authentic purpose for that communication of knowledge. We teach children very narrow skills, very, um, we, we focus on what they can remember rather than on open-ended skills. And what we need from 21st century children is children who can be innovative, who can be creative, who can be flexible and adapt. And unless we prepare children for that sort of world, we're doing them a disservice.